Today we're going to do a significant reshuffle of the fish. Our peers gave me an idea on the YouTube that I probably should rehome my sear the fenders out of this tank so that I, so that I could keep other fish in here and put them in 240 for now. And of course, some people were upset that I, that we keep the Dorado catfish in this smallish tank. I'll just I'll, I have been afraid for many years to take it out of here, having lost seven or eight Dorado catfish, and this is our only survivor out of all of them. And being a very skittish fish and uh, prone to suicide, very sensitive and very vulnerable to tank mate attacks. I've kept it in this 20, 240 gallon for as long as I could. I think we're gonna try it in this 18, 1800 gallon now as a centerpiece. If it takes to this tank, that probably will be its forever tank. But the masseur have to go. They're too aggressive to anything new I put in there. That uh, wound on the sun catfish, they don't let it heal either. The one that Sanadotis rasped, masseur keep ripping it open. I've caught them a few times, the smaller ones coming up and sucking on the wound. These little guys, the Neolisichilus monsters, not the big ones. So they have to go. The rider has to go here. The biggest masseur is big enough. This one, the biggest sinensis, Chinese masseur, the tall-bodied one. It's ready to be tried in the 25,000 gallons, so this is the only one that's going to go into the into the 25,000 gallons. No others. I'm mulling over putting the other Chinese in there, the normal-bodied one, but it's a bit too skinny that I don't want to do that. It's coming through right here. Is a normal, normal body Chinese. I'd hate for it to be a snack for for Wells or for a leery eye. So I'm on the fence about that one going into the big tank or not. But all the smaller ones are going to go into the 240 gallon tank where I'm taking the Dorado out of. The iridescent is going to go in the in here as well. Otherwise, Masir will kill it. And probably, as probably will the uh, Starry Night as well. I'm gonna try it in here. That's the plan. It's gonna be a hell of a work to try to get get this fish out of this tank. I'm gonna have to drop the water, and we will film the result as we go and the result as well. It took several hours, but we're done. We had to drain this tank almost completely. Here's Dorado catfish in its new digs, 1800 gallon tank. After having spent, I don't know, three, four years, maybe five years in that 240. Open prey, it will be better here, but it's not a given. Anytime you rehome the fish and there are new tank mates, new water system, new everything, um, you're taking a risk. It's not comfortable, although it was a very short rehome. It's easy, very easily stressed fish and it's not comfortable even from that uh, 15 second transfer from 240 
I plopped it right in here. Its body iridescent shark went in here as well. Uh, I put here the uh, tin foils, of course. I put them back here and the bala sharks, four tin foils and four bala sharks because we removed the masseer. So now the masseer live in here. We'll see how it takes. Chinese. Red. Red. Himalayan or golden. Alandi and the rest are more or less Doranensis or uh, the most common ones. The Starry Night went into here as well. So, everybody from that uh, 240 gallon tank that was here. Everybody went in here, went in there except for the two plecos, of course. I don't put plecos on acrylic. I only keep plecos on glass. Let's crash acrylic. And I also took out the uh, armor catfish. No, but again, the messiers, the offenders are gone. I hope armor will be fine back in here or it had lived for a long time if only I could find it in here somewhere oh right there sitting behind those rocks on the bottom Alright, so these are our changes. Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry. I took out the three Cynodontis decoris from here as well. Because when I never saw them and they, they stick they stuck by that back black wall. So for now I took them out and put them along in the in the safe tank. Or at least I think it is safe it, it is a safe tank. They're right there for now. A little stressed from the rehome. So the tin foils and the bala sharks and the armor catfish that were in here, they went back into the 1800 gallon. So that's our update. And God help us.